This module is about the human factor in projects. Good project management is to organize a mandate, to produce a plan, to manage the project, to manage the execution of the, the project, and then to do a good closeout. But when doing this, this is not enough. You should never forget the most important factor. Because people need to trust you, you need to have support for your plan, you need to fulfill expectations, you need to motivate the people that are working on your project, and you need to take the organization into account. The most important factor on your project are the people that are involved. People can make or break the project. You would not be the first project manager whose project failed because of resistance amongst the people that are involved on the project. It is not the objective of this module to learn you all about human behavior and how to influence this. But we will give a brief overview of what you should do in any case. Now, you need to earn trust, you need to build up support, you need to fulfill expectations, you need to motivate people and you need to show respect and empathy to the people that are involved in your project. You earn trust by being consistent, which means that your words and your deeds are one. Then you need to be coherent. Your values and your standards are long-lasting. They don't change easily over time. But also you act consequentially. You act in similar situations in the same manner. This makes you consistent, coherent and consequential. And because of that, you are transparent and predictable. That makes you somebody that is reliable. And because of that reliability, you will earn trust. Building up support has everything to do with the amount of people that are happy or not happy, or people are dissatisfied or not. This has everything to do with requirements, with demands that people are posing upon you and the support. There need to be more support than demands. When this balance changes, you need to intervene to get this balance again back into more support than requirements. The project manager needs to manage expectations. Or to be more specific, you need to fulfill expectation. This asks for a result-oriented approach. This means that you are acting actively oriented to achieving the objectives of the project. But also you aim those that are involved in the uh, production process, in the delivery, you aim them at achievement of the result in the way that we have planned it. When results fall short, you dare to take action, you intervene. It is about the best result for everyone involved, for everyone involved. This is important to fulfill the expectations of those that are a part of the project. People need to be motivated. As a project manager, you need to ensure that people have the right information about the project so that they can make their decisions. They need to have a free choice and they need to be internally motivated. 
realize that compulsion does not work in a project. How to motivate these people? This is by looking at their basic needs. People have a need for autonomy. They want to be on the steering rod of their own lives. Them, they are looking for solidarity. They want to work in a nice way together with other people. And finally, they have a need for competence. They want to feel that what they are doing, that they are competent in it. And therefore, you need to give them work that is, that is in agreement with their capabilities. There is a moment that you need to deliver the project results to those that are going to use it. This is something, it should not be your focus at the end of the project, but it should be a focus during the all, whole project, by showing respect and empathy. This is something you can do by to communicate honestly about the impact of the project execution and finally of the project result. You need to involve them in the implementation. Listen to their story, to what they have to say. And sometimes resistance is just a shrewd, intelligent solution to the same problem that you are trying to solve. In conclusion, project management is making a realistic schedule, a good plan about the approach that we are following to achieve the results, about making progress, reporting about this progress, arranging acceptance and to do a good handover. But this is not enough. We also have the human factor. We need to earn trust. We need to build up support. We need to fulfill expectations and motivate people. And finally, during the project, we need to show respect and empathy. When you do these things, then your projects will become more successful. And when you have more successful projects, your organization is more successful.